During the 2023 NBA Draft, the Trailblazers did what any sensible NBA team would do and attempted to improve themselves. And with the third pick, the Portland Trailblazers chose Scoot Henderson. According to reports, Damian Litter wasn't really part of the draft process. Joe Cronin, the GM of the Trailblazers, just said, pick the best players and we'll work it out, which I don't blame him for. Also, if Damian Litter takes this as, get me out of here, I don't blame him either. If you're an NBA fan that's been following the Lillard saga, you know that this whole situation has been very complicated. Dame's about to turn 33, and his salary is straight up insane. It's gonna take up up to a third of his team's cap space next season, and then even more the year after that. 58.5 million, can you believe it? Don't get me wrong, the guy's insane. He's an insane basketball player, easily one of the best players in the league, but it's kind of a weird situation overall because he wants to win, but the front office isn't really building a team that can win right now. So the moment a point guard with superstar potential gets drafted by the Blazers, it makes you think, is there a Dame trade on the way? Let's be honest here, even if you're not a Blazers fan, this whole saga has been very annoying. Every other week, there's new reports coming out that Dame is unhappy with the Blazers front office, and then a week after that, the Blazers front office says that they were committed to building around Dame, and then someone else reports that Dame doesn't actually want to stay, he wants to go to Miami, you know, yada yada yada, every single week, it's a different story. So with that being said, I'm going to put on my GM hat, I'm going to be Joe Cronin for a second, and I'm going to shop Damian Lillard. And these are some of the trades that I cooked up for you guys, so make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and let me know what you think about these trades. For the first trade, I got the Trailblazers making a deal with Orlando Magic. Honestly, this one might be actually too good to be true for the Blazers, but if this was to go down, they would walk away with a heist. The Trailblazers would be grabbing Wagner, who's one of the best young and versatile forwards in the league, Anthony Black, who was drafted with a sixth pick and three first rounders for the future, all while matching salaries with Gary Harris, Jonathan Isaac, and Franz Wagner, the six foot nine wonder kid who can play make, create shots, shoot, and defend multiple positions. And he's only 21, so he's a perfect fit for the Blazers' rebuilding plans. Also, Anthony Black is only 19 years old, a point guard who fits the same description. He's pretty tall, it's 6'7", and has a knack for setting up plays with a good basketball IQ. Plus, he could be an amazing and versatile defender. Adding him to that Portland backcourt would bring some balance, as he's a bigger guard who's able to share the ball and doing the smaller stuff and nitty gritty things on the court. This would leave the Blazers with Scoot Henderson, Anthony Simons, Shaden Sharp, Franz Wagner, Anthony Black, and a cherry on top, three first round picks from the Magic. Gary Harris has an expiring contract, and Jonathan Isaac is still a solid defender if he can manage to stay injury free. The Magic, on the other hand, would get themselves an all NBA point guard to speed things up on the offensive side of things, all while keeping their rookie of the year from last season in Paulo Bancaro. They still got Wendell Carter Jr. Lillard joining this team would be a major boost for Bancaro since he's great at making shots and opening up the floor. Markel Fultz, who had a really good season last season, wouldn't be a bad choice to team up with Damian Lillard either since he's a solid defender and a facilitator. And Jalen Suggs would be a great addition as well off the bench, bringing size and focus on defense. But the rest of the team's offense is very sketch, excluding Dame, Paulo, and Carter Jr. It's not really up to par. So the Orlando Magic, if they want to compete and at least push for a playoff spot, are going to have to make some moves to fill out that bench a little bit more. But now let's talk about a trade that's a little bit more realistic for the Blazers. Now this is a trade I'm really high on because if the Blazers were able to get this done, they would go towards a rebuild and the Brooklyn Nets, they would put themselves in a position to be a top six team in the East, especially if they re-sign Cam Johnson. The Blazers would get Ben Simmons, Nick Claxton, Cam Thomas, three first round picks from the Phoenix trade with Kevin Durant, and the 2027 first round pick swap with Houston. And the Nets would just get Damian Lillard, which is more than enough in my opinion for that package. Since the Nets were a place where Dame wanted to go anyways, this deal is pretty fair compromise to letting him go where he wants to be. With this trade, you got Dame pairing up with Mikel Bridges who had a really good season last season after that trade to Brooklyn. And if they go ahead and make this move, they'll definitely match any offer for restricted free agent Cam Johnson. Plus, they still got Dorian Finney-Smith who can play good defense and shoot good threes and Spencer Dinwiddie who's a really good leader on the court and is a great backcourt duo for Dame Lillard. And since he's taller, he's also a better defender. You'll get a lineup of Dame, Dinwiddie, Bridges, Cam Johnson and whoever you want to fill out with the center position. The only player Brooklyn would be losing who's actually really good for them last season is Claxton. Ben Simmons only played 42 games over the past two seasons, so no one really cares about losing him, and Kyle Thomas didn't even get a lot of opportunities with Steve Nash coaching. The Blazers are, again, all about looking into the future in this situation. So being able to flip Dame 
who's getting older and might even leave in free agency in the future you're getting four first round picks and some good young players back in return i think claxton would be a really good fit in portland which would also give portland an opportunity to flip nurkic to another team for picks or young assets Cam Thomas could be really valuable to the Blazers because they're a rebuilding team who would give him a lot of freedom to shoot without worrying about the consequences which would boost his stats and also boost his trade stock. That means if the Blazers don't see him part of their core moving forward, they could also flip him for first round picks or maybe a veteran player, two veteran players or even more younger talent, right? So the Blazers have a lot of flexibility there. And with Ben Simmons, I mean, he was pretty good back in the day until the whole mental health thing kicked in and the back injuries kicked in all NBA player he was an all-star before but you know what if it doesn't work out it's no biggie his salary won't be a burden after 24 25 which is only two more years and Portland isn't exactly itching to spend money right now anyways so what do you think if you were the GM of the Blazers would you trade Damian Lillard and if you do trade him would you trade him to the Magic or would you trade him to the Nets which package is more enticing to you let me know in the comments I want to know what you think as a GM of this team because at the end of the day, I think eventually a deal is going to be made because I don't see Dame just walking away from this team for free and I don't see the Portland Trailblazers being able to build a roster with the amount of cap space that they have and actually compete in the West. So let me know what you guys think in the comments at the end of the day, this is just my opinion. If it's wrong, if it's right, let me know in the comments. I would love to just have a conversation with you guys. This is why I think content creation is amazing because it allows us to, you know, get other people's perspective and have a conversation and, you know, allow for discourse to happen. So if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. We upload content here every single day. So make sure to like the video, comment your thoughts, subscribe if you haven't come join the family. It's your boy Raf Takes. It's been a pleasure. I'll catch you next time. Peace.